Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be overviewing the World Boss Trials Season 25 Guide for Wyatt. Now, I did create this guide for the event, so hopefully it does help you all out. So this is the first graphic I decided to create as I hadn't seen one up to this point for our current event. So here it is. We do have the World Boss Trial Season 25 Wyatt graphic on screen. As for the boss, there she is showcased on the left hand side of the graphic now. And we do have the boss skills. So let's get started here. As for the tap skill, we do have a deal damage two times to four enemies, priority highest HP, skill gauge, charge speed minus 40% for 20 seconds long. The slide skill here, deal damage to five enemies, priority buffed, drive gauge minus 4%, and inflict time bomb. After 14 seconds, explode for 3000 damage, eternal flame, 380 damage over time, Every 2 seconds, if target dies, debuff moves to another enemy, up to 1 time, unable to remove, cut, or extend debuff for 16 seconds long. As for the drive skill here, deal damage to all enemies in the front row, skill gauge charge amount minus 10% for 22 seconds long. The leader buff here, debuff evasion plus 30%, all skill defense plus 80% except for weak point attributes and allure immunity for all allies. So there's the boss skill set of Wyatt, the fire type debuffer. As for the units suggested to run for this event, we do have the MVP here at the left hand side of the guide being Theofano, the new water type supporter. It is also to be considered to use her leader skill. As for her skill order, we do have slide and moving on to debuff counter. We do have the suggestion of one to two of these units, depending on your team comp's survivability. We do have Babel. It's also to be considered his leader skill, as well as run him on a slide skill order. Next here, we do have Alter Davi for the second unit of debuff counter, and you will want to run her on slide. As for debuff extenders, you will want to run two to three of these units. We do have Navi, Lewin, Kalaratri, and Thetis. As for the skill orders for Navi, Luin, and Kalaratri, you would run them on slide. For Thetis here, you would run her on slide, tap, and three slides. Next up here, we do have Dancing Blade slash Defense Minus. You will want to run one of these units. As for the unit to prioritize, you will want to use Lady Battery. And the second unit here being Sun Beach Mona. Both you will want to run on a slide order. Moving on to Weak Point Defense Minus, you will want to run one of these units. Of course, prioritizing Mercury over Midas. And if you don't happen to have Mercury, then of course run Midas. Both of these units you will want to run on a slide skill order. Moving on to Double Edged Sword, you will want to run Swimsuit Davi here on a slide skill order. And for the damage buffer category, we do have here Guillotine on a slide order as well. And for skill defense minus, you will want to run Oracle Werewolf on a slide order yet again. And for the last category here, we do have Aid, which is Newbie Mona, with a slide and two tap skill order for the final units of this row. Next up here, we do have Crit Buffers. It's suggested to run one of these units. Of course, you will want to prioritize Lupin. And we do have here Pantheon if you don't happen to have him. As for the skill order of Lupin, we have one slide and four taps. And for Pantheon here, we do have one slide. As for the next category being speed, gauge charge, and cooldown reduction, it's recommended to run three plus of these units. First up here, we do have Leo, Arat, Sweet Citri, Maid Citri, and Tragedy Rusulka. As for Leo here, you will want to run him on a slide and three taps. Arat and Sweet Citri on a slide only order. For Maid Citri here, we do have a slide tap if she is unignited, and we'll discuss a bit later on if you do happen to have her ignited. As for Tragedy Rusulka here, you will want to run her on one slide and four taps. As for the survival slash healer category, it's recommended to run one plus of these units depending on your team comp and of course your current state of survivability during the event. 
we do have mods here as well as zooming mars being recommended you could also use other units such as full elf and you can also use a unit like nephthys if you don't happen to have zooming mars as for the water attacker category here everyone it's recommended to run three of the attackers of course as typical for world of boss trials you will run three attackers at the very least first up here we do have math that followed by fully ignited eve cassia here thanatos virupa devil buster lisa and dano as for the skill orders you will want to run math that on a slide skill order and we do have eve here on slide as well for cassia here one tap and four slides thanatos on tap only as well as Virupa, Devil Buster, Lisa, and Dano, you will run on slide as well. As for the notes here on the right hand side, we do have three attackers are sufficient. Attacker prioritization being a six hit slide over a three hit percentage slide, a three hit percentage slide over a four hit tap, the four hit tap over a four hit slide, a four hit slide over a three hit tap, a three hit tap over a three hit slide as for the third notes here eve is only good when fully ignited fourth of all here mafthet cassia and thanatos are best for new players or if you don't happen to have ignited attackers a tip here for oracle werewolf you should run her on a slide tap skill order if you are using tap attackers such as thanatos and virupa a tip here for maid citri if she is ignited to three stars at the very least you will want to use slide and four taps for the skill order and for the final tip here of math that if she is ignited and without lupin's awakening set her skill order to tap and four slides as for the attacker carta here we do have warm reprive here being the best option for your attackers as for Ruselka's unrequited love here it's the second best option for the attackers and the last option here being the afternoon nap for the slider units only if you don't happen to have the first two as for the debuffer cartas we do have troubleshooter mona and the second option here being Juno's Gift, the new Soul Carta arriving with the update. As for the final Carta here, we do have the Supporter and Tank Cartas. You will want to, to provide Showtime to as many supporters as you can for the front row to provide more sustainability. And for the final suggestion here, before we do head into the sample lineup, we have the Off Elements suggestion. Consider testing the Off Elements duo of Pepita and Grilla. If you guys would like to use them, I know a ton of people did manage to ignite Pepita and she is a very strong off elements unit in pair with Gorilla. So definitely consider testing her if you do happen to have Pepita as well as a Gorilla copy. As for the sample lineup here I did put together, we do have Tragedy Ruselka, Babel, Theofano, Swimsuit Davi, Sweet Citri, Nubimona, Mona, Guillotine, Leo, Arat Lewin. For the back row here, we do have Mafthet alongside her leader skill, Cassia, Eve being fully ignited, of course, Navi, Werewolf, Lady Bathory, Mercury, Lupin, Maid Citri, and Matir. As for the final tips with the sample lineup, always drive Guillotine before Fever Time. Make sure to experiment with other drive orders and skill orders. Examples Nubimona Drive, Oracle Werewolf Drive made citri drive etc experiment with other leader skills examples being theofano kalaratri cassia babel etc and last but not least here make sure to use citri or mat drive to help with survivability so that'll pretty much do it for the world boss trials season 25 guide for the wyatt event make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you did think of the guide i did manage to put together and if you guys would like to view the guide or save an image of it i'll be sure to have it linked in the description box below as well as the guide will be featured in my discord server and on my reddit post if you guys would like to check out the server as well as my post on the reddit as well but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did manage to enjoy today's destiny child guide or did find it useful and of course make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already 
and are interested in more Destiny Child content such as this video here today. And last but not least, make sure to check out my Twitch channel linked in the description box below as well as my Twitter and of course the Discord server as well. But with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.